inside the box there is USB-C to USB-A cable instruction, micro SD card and infrared C200 camera. Whole body is rubberized, feel solid. Only trigger button made from plastic. It has built-in tripod mounting screw. I will use that with my ball head. It takes 15 seconds to boot. Arrow button forcefully calibrates camera. There is LED light switch. Playback button gives ability to scroll through pictures. In a menu we can enable hotspot, cold spot functions. There is four image modes and function to align thermal image to visual camera. You can select from seven color palettes. I mostly use iron color pen. I noticed that white hot color panel has best refresh rate comparing to other panels. Most important setting is emissivity. There is a list of materials with values of emissivity inside the instruction. But the cool thing is, even if you set emissivity or ambient temperature wrong at the time of shooting picture, you still can correct that later in infrared thermal application. For temperatures till 150 degrees Celsius use high gain. Everything above 150 degrees you need to set camera to low gain. LCD screen is easy readable even in a sunny day. To analyze pictures set USB mode to USB disk and connect camera to PC using USB-C to USB-A cable. In application you can find three additional color palettes. Use point thermometry to measure points of interest. If you set image alignment correctly, you can use iMix mode. It is very similar with FLIRS MSX. It would be cool to have iMix inside camera with firmware update. There are line, rectangular, circular, polygon, thermography tools. Just be sure to check and correct emissivity first before using any of these tools. You can flip rotate and highlight high, low temperatures on your camera images.
3D image gives you a 3D view of a heat map. After our work is done, you can export report in a Microsoft Word format. It would be nice to have more formats. Also, there is Infra New Cloud service, so you can upload your images. Didn't try that myself. You can make thermal videos with this camera. Just have to choose USB camera mode. In preview tab, you can take pictures and video records. Also set complex alarm mode to record images or video when temperature reaches set parameters. You can find taken images and video files inside the application folder. Inside this folder you can find color palettes in BMP format, so potentially you can create your own color panels. This is C200 looking at motherboard. You can kinda tell what's going on, you can get some nice details and can see clearly individual chips and how they are heating. To further improve image you can buy macro lens. This camera works with OBS Studio so you can capture video or even stream it. Let's say you leave camera at work and can monitor it at home. So I hope Infrared deliver us IMAX mode inside this camera. Also would be cool to have ability to connect this camera to mobile phone. Overall this is really good thermal camera.